You know, you hear people talk about that strike zone a, a, a lot. And that strike zone, there's a, a, some, there's a zone based on water clarity where the fish can see a bait, but they won't waste the energy to chase it. And sometimes that strike zone, the fish is sitting here and that strike zone might be uh, four feet. And if you go to six feet, four feet, they'll move to hit the lure. The bait gets to six foot and they won't move to hit it. Really a fascinating thing, the, the gap, understanding that strike zone and how a fish will relate to it. What will draw him the furthest to hit that bait? You, you know, a lot of times they see it and it's just, it's just too far for them to run, run, run to. Just stop, you, you've seen that, a lot, a lot of you that fish, a lot, you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Naturally, the clearer the water, the larger the strike zone, but there's still a, Oh, look at that. Oh, man. They're sitting out there. They are sitting out there. Come, come up, another, another. Come on up. Come on. Come up. These are some good ones, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is a classic situation of what I'm talking about on, on that strike zone. Here, these fish, I can't get them to hit. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. I throw the X wrap. I throw the rip stop. I throw the other size baits. They won't hit it. Every cast I make with the original shadow wrap gets a bite. And more, more than likely, it's the strike zone. Those baits, the fish are seeing it, but they won't come up that extra three, four, or five feet. This is sinking down, it's getting right to them. It's right in the zone. You know, you know I don't think it's the color and the action. It's that this bait is sinking deeper off of this ledge and those smallmouth are coming up or coming in, they're a little bit suspended. So, I mean, how many times have we fished through a school of fish? How many times have you sat on a structure and said, I know the fish are here? I know it. And you're, and you're fishing it kind of right, but not kind of right. And maybe somebody in the back of the boat or you leave that spot and a guy comes right in back of you and all of a sudden he lights them up. A lot of times it's understanding that strike zone and a bait that just gets a little bit deeper or a little bit further out off of the structure where it gets in front of their push. This is what, what's happening to me right here on this spot, right on this spot. Every, almost every cast that I made with this bait, I get bit. I grab the other bait, throw them through there, no interest. They just can't quite get down deep enough. And this isn't real deep. You know, the water's fairly clear. It's not real clear, but every, every jerk baits, family of jerk baits, has a time and place where it really shines. And when I got to get down, I got those fish a little bit deeper. That original shadow wrap is a killer. Large mouth and small mouth. I just love this thing when I got to get down. Different story when I get a little bit shallower. And as the day goes on or tomorrow, you'll see the other baits will come into play on different structures. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm sure they can go back in and go and you know to bed some. Oh, got him. Uh oh, not sure. Oh, look at that baby, huh? That one, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you, you are a little bit more of a fatso, ain't you? Ain't you? Uh, I got this one here. Let me get her in here. Should I? Uh, uh. How's that one look? <laughs> what, <clears throat> that's a good one. <clears throat> that one bit on the original, the original shadow wrap. And the difference, you know, like I said earlier, I've got three different jerk baits on. I've got a shadow wrap on, I got a rip stop, and I got the uh, X wrap. And uh, every one of them serves a different purpose. This one is my all-time favorite 
for smallmouth and largemouth when they start going deep. This is a slow sinker. When you kill it, it, get, it gets down. When you kill it, it just stops and it just quivers and falls real, real slow. In cold water, cool water, it's a dynamite. It's bait in spring and fall when the fish are deeper. I mean, I've pulled fish really deep. I could fish this thing on a weighted system easily down in 12 feet of water. That means your strike zone opens so much more. The other baits won't get down that far. That far. But when I got to get deep, the original, the or, uh, uh, original shadow wrap like this is my all-time, all-time favorite bait for largemouth and smallmouth when the fish get, uh, let's say, uh, uh, eight feet or deeper. And, and it's an amazing deep water jerk bait. And it's subtle. The hooks are real fine. They made this bait in a, fin a, a finesse fish fishing situation. Real, the, the hooks are like needles. There, see, look at that. It took me a little while. That fish hit three times. Three times. Big brownie, big pig brownie. Again, sitting deep here. Look how lazy she is in that cool water. Oh. That fish hit that bait three different times. You can see him if you can, when you can see him in clear water diving underneath it. You know, do I bite it? Do I not bite it? Come on. Yeah, this is a, a good spot. There's a school of fish laying right off at the edge of this thing. They're down in that slightly, slightly deeper water. Now this is getting to be fun. This is getting to be fun. And they have a good time here. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Again. And this happens to be one of my favorite colors in the, in the Shadow Wrap series. Look at that. These are big smallmouth we're talking. Big, big, big fish.